Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today with a quick setup video in my Carpe Diem. This is the black Carpe Diem. I got it on Amazon last year and it was like super cheap, like under $30. And I think they go for a lot more now. They're harder to find. But I've had it for a while and I didn't really ever use it and I thought um, I wanted to switch into that instead of my Marion Smith because I bought it and I might as well use it. My friend Patty and I, um, she's my planner bestie. We're discussing the fact that I think we would rather have the monthly view out on our desk at home instead of the weekly view. That way you can see all your appointments and upcoming events. So we're going to try that. She's trying it and I'm trying it too. And let's see how that goes. So this is the planner I'm using. I just have the pockets filled with some stuff. Underneath here I just have some date dots and a piece of scrapbook paper. On the front here I have a paper clip from the Planner Society kit. It's just a girl. And then I have this, I'll take her off for a second. This came with the Carpe Diem. It says it's a brand new day. It's a piece of vellum. Then this polka dot vellum is from Michaels. And I just have a piece of paper here. And then this is the bag that came in the Planner Society kit this month. I laminated it and cut it open in case I wanted to put anything in there. I have it. Put her back on. And then this is my first tab. It's the monthly Planner Society kit paper. This is So Much Crafting um, 2017 holiday list. I just stuck a piece of paper on here and laminated it and threw it in there. Then I have inserts from Jessie and Co. And I have a coupon code for her shop below if you're interested in buying inserts from her. These are her monthly inserts. This kit is from River Street Stickers. I also have a coupon code for her below if you would like to purchase from her. She has amazing stickers. So that kit's from her. And this kit is stunning. It's also from her. And they are for these ones. She has kits for different styles of planner. This one's for the Erin Condren. I just cut it down. And here's what the empty monthly inserts look like from Jessie and Co. So that's going to sit open like that, upright, in my little dollar store cake stand. And I just put this piece of cardboard behind it, and my planner sits in there. Um, I've had this all last year, and I'm using it again this year. It works really well. So that sits upright on my desk. And then this is from my friend Heidi. She gave it to us at a planner meetup. So I have these, and then I have some of the Marion Smith inserts. I'm just going to use what I have for this year. Then I have the Weekly. This is a piece of acetate. Then these inserts are from, they were from Sweet Bean Plan. She doesn't make inserts anymore, unfortunately. This beautiful kit is from Watermelon Wishes Boutique, whose shop is temporarily on vacation. Hopefully she'll open it back up, but life gets in the way sometimes, so right now she's unable to have an Etsy shop. However, this is what I'm doing for my plan as I go memory keeping. Instead of doing it in my Erin Condren like I did last year, I don't even have an Erin Condren this year. I think <clears throat> I'm going to try doing it in the A5. This week went great. I made this little bookmark myself. And then this week I'm using Sahili's Designs. I started to set it up today. So I'm just going to plan as I go and here I have a little bit of the kit left and then I'll just use icons and stuff it's a beautiful kit okay and then the next section is social so I have a list of all the Etsy stores as I come across them and if they're highlighted in pink I've ordered from them I kind of got out of doing this but I need to get back into it because it's pretty interesting to see who you order from and then planner hashtags. I just keep a running list so I know what to put on Instagram. These cute inserts from Happy Scrappy as well as these. All these inserts are from Happy Scrappy. Yep. And then I had a mug cake. I was writing down mug cakes because they think they're really good. It says writing those recipes down. And then this is a notes section. Movies I want to watch. And more inserts from Happy Scrappy. 
Oh, there's a mug mills there. That needs to go in the other section. Let me take that out so I remember. Randomly putting them everywhere. Okay, and then I have a list section. It's just more paper. This is from Marion Smith. So you have blank paper and a ledger paper. And then a to-do section. More happy scrappy paper. And then I have this little bag that I laminated so it's like stiffer. And then my friend Shauna, who is mental for planning, I ordered a giveaway from her. And she sent me this beautiful laminated piece of cardstock, so I stuck it in the back. And then this is the little notepad that came with the Carpe Diem. So that is everything in here. And yeah, so I'm excited to see how this goes for 2017. Hopefully I'll stick with it. I'm not one to change up too much unless it's really not working for me. So yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.